Good afternoon, everyone. I hope um, I hope everyone is enjoying the day. Um, congratulations to all the farmers in the last session. That was amazing, very inspirational. Um, we are now getting to the the last session of the day, and it's a bit of a updates on our program daily app. If I can. See the slides to the post. That, no, thank you. So, um, my name is Shane Garcia. I'm the program leader of Daily App. And what I'm going to do is first to give an overview of the program. And then we'll have four separate individual projects that we'll focus today with a quick update. Hopefully, a little bit of the, we have some questions at, after each of the presenters. And then um, hopefully we'll have a little bit of extra time at the end to, for more discussion. So Daily App stands, the app stands for Unlocking Potential. And as the, as the wording says in, in our web and also here on the, on, on, on the panel here, um, it is a collaborative daily research and development program for New South Wales, and it was set to unlock the potential of cow, milk, and water to increase productivity and profitability, de-risk the dairy industry, and hopefully develop new opportunities and new markets for, um, for the industry. So I guess I'd like to highlight three things about Dairy App. The first one is what well, it was in the the, the, the collaborations, and the, um, it is a real new model for collaborative rd &E. The first, the top organizations are the delivery organizations. Here we hear Sin Unit, the DRF, is the leading organization, but we are delivering the program together with Cybus, New South Wales DPI, and Data Australia. Uh, all those are in the middle are the partners organizations that were from, with us from the very beginning, and all of them invested in their app. And I guess uh, I really want to emphasize this because this new model actually, we set it up to with the idea of breaking up some silos in here at the university, DPI, you know, other organizations, and we are really doing that. Um, we have broken a lot of uh, silos in research not, um, that now are, are working together. And not only that, but all the organizations you see at the bottom of the slide are new additional supporters. So because of this collaboration is so successful, uh, we are really having a lot of additional collaborations, and this already has resulted in more than $1.5 million of additional funding that are enhancing projects, the, the, the projects we have in Dairy App, and all of those projects are for you, industry, farmers, and service providers. So I really want to emphasize this as a first point. The second point I want to emphasize is rejuvenation. Yes, I know, look who is talking. But precisely, because when we set, started to set up, Daily App took like two or three years. I'm sure Ian Lin is here in the, in the audience and he will remember. It took uh, two or three years before we actually got funded with a lot of work with Ian, from Ian, myself, um, Jim Rothwell from EMAI, EMAI, Bruce Christie from EMAI as well, Alex Russell, and many others that were, we put a lot of work to, to get that collaboration going. And we're all thinking about rejuvenation as a key aspect, because I really believe that an industry without a solid R&D, D&E program doesn't have a, a lot of future. And I also believe that to have a solid R&D program, we need rejuvenation. We need new people going into industry, into research, and pushing forward. So this is in the photo are only the, the sort of new stuff uh, related to Daily App, but the, at the bottom of the slide says there are more than 70 people working on Daily App across many organizations, all the organizations that I listed before. So it's really quite impressive and, and having all this happening together. 
And the third point I want to highlight is that the All Together is a, quite a big program, and it's ten, it started as the 10 main projects, but uh, some of them, the, some, some of those, or the key projects, have several sub-projects. For example, P1 have, has, so, sorry, five sub-projects. We will be look, um, talking about two of them today and two of them tomorrow. Uh, P2 has seven sub-projects. P2 is led by Ian, Ian Lin and from Cybos. And we will be hearing today as well, so about two of them at least, and, and an overview of the whole P2 program. And several other projects, we have P6, which is the, the, the one data-driven solutions for the daily industry. Cameron Clark, unfortunately, he got chickenpox, so he's, he's sick. And apparently, chickenpox, as a, when you get it as an adult, is a completely different different story. So he's really, he's, he's totally unwell even to do it by Zoom. So he sends his apologies, by the way. Um, so all, all, I guess I want to highlight, I'm not going to go into details, we're going to focus on some of, of these projects, but uh, all, all together is 23 projects. Three of them, the ones in green in the middle, are already completed. Those are projects from Daily Australia that, um, for example, P3, econo the economics of intensive systems, that uh, basically what we, Daily App did was to enhance the program that was already existing, coming or, or being put forward by Daily Australia. And I think the partnership with, with Daily Australia in that regards, with not only P3, but also P7, P8, and P10, and others, uh, worked really well, and it's working really well. So the other thing I want to highlight, just to, to finish off with this introduction, is that um, we have already, we are two years in the making of Daily App. It's a five-year program. And we have already a lot of uh, early achievements, I should say. The first um, part is to highlight a new and very sound information for decision making for farmers. Like, for example, if farmers are thinking about intensification, now there are real specific information about uh, comparison between intensive systems and uh, extensive systems, and um, that is the results of P3. It's all available in our website, also available through Data Australia and DPI as well. That, that project was led by DPI in New South Wales. Uh, if someone is wondering about whether the system into the future uh, or looking climate change in the future, into the future and whether you need to intensify or adapt the system or simplify your system, well, there is a lot of already good information with the case study that Data App did with P7 together with or enhancing those that DA already did um, in, in, other, in Victoria and other parts of the country. So it's already tangible information for decision making. And I think we want, I, I really want to emphasize that. Pasture management, we're going to see that in a minute with Martin. Uh, cow longevity, we're going to see that in a minute with Helen. But it's uh, again, so things are, are really tangible solutions that are starting to, to show up now. And, and, and they will, as with 23 project going, there's going to be a lot of additional solutions coming into the future. And we also hear about milk as a diagnostic fluid from Helen in a second. There's also uh, new and improved tools already coming up. And for example, a new data set that was uh, really working together with data gene and putting together a new data set that is quite impressive. I think uh, Helen here, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's more than 100,000 records already, which is really impressive. And that is a, it's not only a good for us for the app for the project, it's really a, a big legacy because it's an improvement, a serious improvement for the data industry. So well done to P2 on that. There is also, um, for example, P6, and unfortunately Cameron is not here today, but he was going to show how we are, uh, we are already working on improving the, um, um, using, oh, putting artificial intelligence into the breeding indexes. And that is working, again, in collaboration with the uh, Daily Bio in particular, and trying to improve what the, the Daily Bio is doing in, down in Victoria. So again, that shows, uh, come back to the first point of collaboration, really, we are breaking up silos, not only here in New South Wales, but really across the, the different um, research groups in the country. And that's, I'm extremely pleaseful with that. Uh, remote pasture man management, uh, they say we are working with two commercial tools and we're trying to improve the commercial tools that already exist. So farmers are, have um, you know, better tools to, to manage the, their pasture. Again, we'll hear that in a minute. And we also have um, um, better planning tools and we're going to hear about 
that specifically from Greg also in the presentation today. So there's also, in terms of achievements, a scientific publication, and I know farmers in the room say, oh, I mean, who, who cares? Well, it really is very important because you can be completely sure that any information coming from the app is sound and is scientifically, scientific-based. So I think we, we put a lot of emphasis on that. There are seven pub papers already published in international journals. P2 is leading the way on, in, in, in that regard, and there's a lot of our papers in the making. So congratulations to, to those projects within the, the program as well. And finally, we are doing a, a lot of um, effort in putting in communications, and, and we have a very lean kind of structure within the app, but putting, a, and hopefully everyone here is already subscribed to the e-news, and if you're not, please do so. Um, there's um, an e-news coming every month, and we have organized already two road trips, one in Viga Valley, another one in Casino recently, and this symposium, which is uh, probably the key dissemination arm for the research we are doing. It used to be for the research we were doing at the University of Sydney, now it's for the research, the research we are doing collectively across daily app and all the organizations, which is, again, very pleased to see.